Hi, it's Gareth Williams here from secureyourwallet.com. We're going to have a look at Bitcoin wallets now. We're going to go through all the basics of what is a Bitcoin wallet, how do I go about getting a Bitcoin wallet, and how do I use a Bitcoin wallet. Now this video is really aimed at people who are new to Bitcoin. So you could be somebody who's heard about Bitcoin and you want to get some Bitcoin, but you're not really sure where to start. You've heard you might need a digital wallet, but you're not sure where you get one from and how you go about installing a Bitcoin wallet. So I'm going to address all these questions in this video. So we're going to start off with some theory on Bitcoin wallets. So what is a Bitcoin wallet? So a Bitcoin wallet is a program that allows you to send and receive Bitcoin to your public Bitcoin address. Now I'm going to use the analogy of email to explain Bitcoin just to kind of help you understand it a little better. So if we look at email and Bitcoin, in email you have your email address. Now this address allows people to send email to you and you can send email to them using this address. And in Bitcoin you have the same thing, it's called your Bitcoin public address. Now here's an example of the public address down here. Public addresses are 160 bits long and they always start with the number 1. Now, just as an email, it's completely safe to give this public address to anybody. You could put this public address on a website, you could put it on a business card. It's completely safe. No one can get to your funds from your public address. Now, going back to the email analogy, if you want to send email securely, you need to have a password that only you know that allows you to log on to your email account. So, you log on to your email account and then you can send emails from your address and no one else can get onto your email account and use your email address. So in Bitcoin, you have a private key which allows you to unlock your public address and only you can unlock the funds in this public address. And you also have a wallet password which you create when you store your wallet and this allows you to send Bitcoin from this address. So you can see here we have an example of a Bitcoin public address now this is actually one of my addresses that I use and you can also see that we have a, a QR code representation of your address. So if you've got a mobile Bitcoin wallet app, you can actually scan this code and you can send Bitcoin to my public address. And you could actually literally do it through the screen. You could scan this code now as you're watching this video and send Bitcoin to me on the other side of the world instantaneously. So that's an example of a Bitcoin address. Now, my address, like I mentioned, is secured with a private key that only I know. And you must never ever give this private key out to anybody. Now, your private key is stored in your wallet and it allows only yourself to unlock the funds allocated to your Bitcoin public address. Now, private keys always start with the number 5 and they are created automatically when you install your wallet and you get your public address. So the private key is linked to the public address. Finally, you must always make a backup of your private key and keep it offline, so keep it off your computer in a secure place. So maybe you make a copy of it and write it down and keep it in a safe or locked away somewhere where it's not on your computer. Because this private key is acts as a backup and it'll allow you to access your public key and your Bitcoin funds if anything ever goes wrong with your computer. Now, we've talked about private keys and your public Bitcoin address, and Bitcoin actually uses public-private key encryption. Now, your Bitcoin public address is actually created using a form of encryption called SHA-256, and this is the same encryption used when you do your online banking and you get to the secure logon with the HTTPS. So it's a very secure and widely used form of encryption. So we're going to have a look at the main types of Bitcoin wallets now. So there are two main types of Bitcoin wallets. First of all, you get your desktop wallets. Now this is software which you actually download and install on your actual local machine. So an analogy of this would be like your uh, Microsoft Outlook for email. You download it or you get it on a CD and you install it on your local machine and your email is actually downloaded to your machine and stored on your machine. So an example of desktop wallets is a program called Multibit or Bitcoin QT, which is the original Bitcoin wallet. Now the other type of wallet is 
your online or web wallets. Now, these are the equivalent in an email analogy of Gmail or Hotmail, where you actually go to a website and you register online and you create yourself an online wallet and you log onto that website. So you can access it from any computer anywhere in the world and you can get to your web wallet from wherever you are. But just like online mail, it's a little less secure than having it actually installed on your own local machine because of course it's online. So what I'm going to do now is go through an example of the two main types of wallets and show you an actual real example of them. So we're going to start off by heading over to bitcoin.org. Now this is the original Bitcoin website and it's got lots of information and I really recommend starting off at bitcoin.org if you want any information about Bitcoin. So if we scroll down here, you see this get started with Bitcoin. We're going to choose your wallet. And we scroll down here and here we go. It's talking about the different types of wallets like I mentioned. So you've got your desktop wallets, your web wallets on the right, and you've also got mobile wallets, which I go into in another video later on. Now, as I mentioned, you have your desktop wallets. Here's Multibit, here's Bitcoin QT. And we're going to have a quick look at Multibit because it's a nice, easy to use wallet. It's quick to install and it's quick to get up and running with Multibit. So I'm actually going to go through a download of Multibit and install because it is really easy to get started. So if we visit the website, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to use the Windows installer. And I'm going to download it. It doesn't take too long to download. And I'm going to open it up now that it's downloaded. And we'll go through the installation of Multibit. So I'm just going to do this very quickly, except next next and we're done we've installed multibit so i'm going to open up multibit now and here we go you get this little welcome screen and multibit's um, a very simple wallet to use now the first time you log on to multibit you see down here in the bottom left hand side it's just synchronizing with the network so it's just downloading some of the most recent blockchain data to your machine. Now, I talked about your Bitcoin address. Now, over here on the request tab, it's automatically created a Bitcoin address for us. And you can see it's a public address. It starts with the number one. And this is now our Bitcoin public address. So we can give this address to anybody and over here on the right, you can see you've got a QR code. So I'm going to click this magnifying zoom. This is our QR code for this address. Now, if you wanted to send Bitcoin to somebody, you would go over to the send tab. And in the address field here, you would paste in the address of the person you want to send Bitcoin to. So I'll do an example of this. If we go to my website, secureyourwallet.com, I'm going to copy this address which is my public Bitcoin address we're going to paste it into the address box and then we're going to put some amount in here so we can send three dollars or 0 0.005 Bitcoin to that address now as I mentioned before you need to put a password on your Bitcoin wallet currently we don't have any password on here so I could just click send now and send any Bitcoin to this Bitcoin public address but what you need to do is put a password on your wallet straight away as soon as you've installed it. And if we go over here to the left, this is the wallet that's created. So you should actually give it a new name. So I'll just call it Garris Wallet. And this little yellow square here indicates that there's no password on this wallet yet. So what you want to do is go up to Add Password. And you want to put a secure password in. Now, a secure password is at least 16 characters, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, symbols, numbers. You want to make a really complex password. So I'm going to put in my standard password. And then we're going to add password to the wallet. So now straight away, you can see this little yellow square has changed to a yellow lock, indicating that this wallet is now password protected. 
The final thing to look at is I mentioned about the private keys and in this option here in the tools it says export private keys. Now if you click this you get this option here to export the private keys from this wallet. So you want to make sure you put in your wallet password here and then you're going to put in a password to protect this exported file and then you want to make sure that you keep this exported private key somewhere secure offline, off your computer and off the internet. So that was an example of a desktop wallet. On my website secureyourwallet.com um, I actually have many reviews on all the different major desktop wallets so have a look at that and have a look at the reviews because I go into a lot more detail about all the different wallets. Now before I wrap up this video we're going to go have a look at a couple of examples of online or web wallets. So I'm just going to close this down and we're going to open up Chrome and the two main online web wallets that I recommend are blockchain.info or Coinbase. So if we have a look at blockchain.info I'll start off at the home page. So this is the home page of blockchain.info there's lots of information about the blockchain and you can see all the latest transactions live on the blockchain. If you head up on the top here over to this wallet option now if you've never been to blockchain you've got the option to start a new wallet or create my free wallet over here. Um, I'm an existing user so I would go to login and it actually it's remembered my identifier which is basically your username and I would put in my password and I use two-factor authentication which is something you should definitely do on an online wallet and uh, I use an app on my phone Google Authenticator to provide an additional layer of authentication. So if I just log on very quickly and you can just have a quick look at the interface of blockchain. And as I mentioned I use two-factor authentication so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to an app on my phone which is generating a six-digit code and I'm going to put the code in and open up my wallet. So this is the online wallet. I don't use this one very often. I've only done three transactions. You can see how much Bitcoin I've got in there and you can see my public address and the QR code. So that's a quick look at blockchain.info. I'm just going to log out and the other online wallet that I recommend is Coinbase and you just register on Coinbase you log on with your email address and password and you can go into Coinbase and Coinbase is quite nice because it has additional features. Um, you can actually send Bitcoin to someone's email address and you can also buy Bitcoin through Coinbase using dollars. If you're based in the United States you can actually register your bank account and buy Bitcoin through Coinbase. So that's a brief look and a brief introduction to Bitcoin wallets. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you've been new to Bitcoin, hopefully I've answered lots of your questions. If you want to know more about Bitcoin, I've got lots and lots of information on my website, secureyourwallet.com. I've got lots of video reviews and I go from the basics of Bitcoin right through to the advanced areas of Bitcoin such as paper storage, cold storage, offline storage. I've also got my YouTube channel which is just youtube.com forward slash secureyourwallet. So if this has been helpful, please like the video, post any comments underneath and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you in another video.